trophy. Hide. You has a delicious little bean. Steven Spielberg's larger-than-life film, The BFG, hits theaters this Friday. The movie explores the friendship between a friendly giant and a young girl. Joining me now are Daniel Bacon and Jonathan Holmes, who play two of the not-so-nice giants. Welcome, both of you, for being here. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Uh, first of all, when I look at that film, I mean, the, the book itself is much loved. Roald Dahl, of course, the BFG. But uh, is this a scary movie? Because, I mean, it's meant for kids, but it looks pretty dark. There's certainly darker moments in the movie, but, you know, th there's it's a movie about redemption. It's about love and bravery. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's Roald Dahl, so there's going to be there's going to be a dark side to it. But it's uh, um, it's not a scary, scary movie, no, I'd say. No. OK, so now, Jonathan, you play child chewer. I do. On the Giants and uh, uh, Daniel, you're bone cruncher. So tell us a little bit about your characters and about the film. Well, we are one of nine giants, nine nasty giants, and there's one friendly giant. Mm -hmm. And we kind of collectively are the sort of antagonists of the piece. And uh, the friendly giant and a, a little girl called Sophie, played by the lovely Ruby Barnhill, um, uh, find a plan to uh, get back to these nasty guys. How, does it, how do you play a giant like this? I mean, how did it work when you, when you filmed this? Because a lot of this is computer generated, but how did you get into character? Well, it's, it's performance capture. So what we had was, it was like three levels. We had um, a camera that was in front of our face which does facial recognition. So you have the little dots on your face that captures all, all the reactions and the intricacies of your, your facial movements. Then we had uh, sound connected. So it's our voice doing the vocal. And then we had the fun gray suits with the little dots and balls all over it, and so you do performance capture. So it's capturing all three things all at once in a, in a large open space uh, called a volume with about 30 plus cameras on rigging, catching every little detail of what we do. Have you guys ever worked in that kind of atmosphere using that kind of technology? First for me. First for me. Yeah, yeah. Wow, interesting experience. And of course, you're working with, uh, well, I mean, there's no one bigger, really, legendary director Steven Spielberg. What was that experience like working with him? It was great. Yeah. I mean, he could not have been lovelier. I mean, he was enormously collaborative. You know, he uh, he is still hugely enthusiastic about what he does. So, you know, he's like a kid in a candy store, and he wants to make the best movie that he can make. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and he was generous, kind, uh, sweet man. Very sharp. Like you know, he. I mean, he's been doing it for a long time, mm -hmm. but he, he doesn't really sort of rest on his laurels. He came in every day, knowing every little detail and yeah. and um, everything that he wanted to do. And and as Jonathan said, he had lots of energy. You know, which was great because yeah. sort of trickles down from the top that you can't help but just you know jump on board and, and go for a ride with him. Yeah, I mean, he, and he is legendary. I mean, is something that you walked away and, and learned from him. I mean, what, what did you get from working with him? What was the experience? I think it was just. Um, well, not just him. I mean, the department said of everybody mm -hmm. on the movie, were, you know, the, the, the amount of Oscars that were between those guys was unbelievable. And just the sheer um, professionalism and the desire to make the best movie that they possibly could. And that they didn't really have anything to prove to anybody else because they're, you know, they are at the top of the industry. But still, this real passion to tell the best story that they could, I think, was yeah. was amazing. It was, just, it was always about the work. You, know? yeah. you would never, Johnson said, there was a, a slew of Oscars amongst them, but you'd never know because they treated you with utmost respect and, you know, and, and really yeah. just made it about the work. Yeah, well, great experience for both of you. They're both, um, they both live in Vancouver, we do. local actors. Uh, yeah. Do you have any of the projects on the go right now you want to talk about? I, I can't say what I'm doing oh, now. Oh, it's one of those. I'm not to, Secretive. There's a few things around, okay. so that's exciting, yeah. Right. Um, I, I have one secret thing, but I also have <laughs> to, um, I do a voice on Bob the Builder, nice. which is really exciting because I'm a new dad, so it's exciting to know that, you know, my, my son will be able to, you know, hear dad's voice on Bob the Builder. Fantastic. And um, I have a role in a movie called uh, Brain on Fire um, that comes out in the fall, it looks like, which is based on the book, which is um, really exciting. And I, I was nominated for a Leo for a project called uh, Paranormal Solutions Incorporated, which was a web series um, locally shot, which was really exciting. Wow, lots on the go. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations for both of you on the film, and uh, best you. of luck, and we'll see you around. Yeah, we will. Thanks for seeing you. Uh, and if you want to watch the segment again, it's on our website, ctvmorninglive.ca.